Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Rarely do you see such unbridled enthusiasm for salt and pepper shakers. Unless you're at the annual novelty salt and pepper shaker collectors convention. Oh, you like travel ones? Yes. This is the Continental Divide. I brought a sampling of my own humbling collection, numbering about 50, to the most recent gathering. Let's get the party started with a roll call of the states. This one in a Virginia hotel, where clearly I was out of my league. How many do you have? I have at least 5,000. Joycey Porter has 5,000 I mean, sets. So I mean, it sounds to regular normal people like a salt and pepper club. What is that? They think you're nuts. Well, they know me, so <laughs> I have never been called normal, but then that's boring. Thank you. And you're from Long Island? Can't you tell? <laughs> this is the Canadian delegation. We like them because they are small. They don't take up a lot of room. They are pretty much everywhere, so it's hard to come home empty-handed. And they're not expensive. How many do you have displayed in your home? Uh, 14,900 and count. At the annual gathering, enthusiasts dress in costumes depicting their favorite salt and pepper. Admire salt and pepper's dioramas, but mostly they're here to buy more shakers. Hotel rooms upstairs are stocked and open for business. <laughs> Karen Weaver and Sylvia Tompkins have a wide variety to fit everyone's pocketbook. If I come in here with five bucks, can I find something? Yes, that's why we have the five dollar. And what would be the top of the line? Top. <laughs> Hundreds? Yeah, the German sets. The two women have co-authored a book about, what else, salt and pepper shakers. This year will be the fourth year that Karen and I have gone to England. At age 89, Sylvia is still out there collecting. But she has to be a bit more particular these days. I have around 10. I had to you know, give some up because I moved to a retirement community and I don't have so the you room. you scaled to down to 10,000. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, on the other hand, has not scaled down. Okay, this is the Christmas room where we have all the snowmen, Santas. Her home in Ohio looks like the Metropolitan Museum of Salt and Pepper Shakers. And this is our character room, TV characters. And I have the, the Jetsons in the center. This is my very favorite. How many has she crammed in here? I would guess around 55,000. 55,000 pairs. Shaker, shock and all. We have the naughty section, the monkeys, dogs, cats, mice. Luckily, Karen married a builder, Greg, who has enlarged their house and is building cabinets as fast as he can. I thought once we ran out of room in a certain area, maybe she would slow down herself, but that didn't happen. It just kept growing and growing and growing. A lot of people think you're nuts, you're nuts. And hey, that's fine too. Yeah, it's fun to be nuts. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> fun to be nuts, words we could all live by, at least once in a while.